All right, welcome to the. Yeah, this is it. This way, sir. Our director, terrific, thanks. Welcome to the uh, March meeting of the Orange County Funding Corporation. Uh, for finance? For finance. I'd like to call the meeting to order. It is 4.03 p.m. On, uh, on Wednesday. Uh, Bill, roll call. Okay, terrific. Mark Green? Present. Jeff Christ? Here. Okay, uh, Dean Tamburi is absent, so two out of three committee members present. Uh, also staff, myself, Bill Fioravanti, Kelly Riley, uh, Jose Rojas from Acquisitions Marketing doing our AV, and of course our external CFO, Shannon Manisi from RBT CPAs. All right, and uh, notice that the meeting was duly and properly provided? Yes, it's in the packets. All right, then let's, let's move on. Okay. Uh, approval of minutes uh, from February 21st for the OCFC uh, Finance Committee meeting. Uh, I'll we'll make that motion them. to accept. All right, first order of business, approve the minutes. I will second it. Here we go. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. No one else opposed? We're on a roll already. We're, we're flying along here, here Bill. We're, we're, you know, we're, we're making it happen. Uh, let's see. Uh, new business. Uh, we'll go through the financials. Yeah. Uh, so let's uh, let's do that. So we're going to go right to uh, page five in your OCFC finance packet, and we will kick it to Shannon to review the income statement. Okay. So for the month of February, there was one hundred and seventy-six dollars and seventy-six cents in interest, and that's from the banking and from the loans. You're going to see the new line item that we talked about last month is the management fee expense. So that line is based off of the January actual expenses of the IDA that are related to shared expenses for OCFC. So that's the only new uh, line item that you'll see and only major change from uh, normal months. So that was $6,067.95. So overall for the month, you had $8,183.68 in expenses with only $176 in revenue. So you're at a loss of $8,006.92. All right, Shannon, real quick, just to make sure. So this is our new format, right? This is the managerial fees. This is, you know, rent, all that stuff that, that's underneath that, correct? Yeah, so there'll be a breakdown. So when you see the invoice every month to pay these, It'll give you a specific breakdown of the line items that are applicable to OCFC because there are certain expenses that are not related at all, and it's only going to be those that are that are applicable to OCFC, <coughs> and that'll be deep on the invoice from the IDA. Doesn't make sense for us to see have that invoice part of this packet. We can do that if you'd like. Is it difficult? No, we can do that. You know, just so we can. Check the box. Sure. Yeah. If, yeah. if it's not to this room. Not at all. Okay. So going forward, we'll do that. Make nice. sense? Well, that includes salaries. Correct. So, yeah. Right. All, all that stuff. Allocation of it's a percentage. So the agreed upon percentage that was approved was eighty-four sixteen. So that was the the amount that was approved was eighty-four sixteen. So that's what was allocated to OCFC. So I, I think where you were going, Jeff, was we can't have employees in here because technically this doesn't have employees that's why it's a managerial fee okay so all the you know it's the fee that is encumbered upon the fc to do their day-to-day -day operations and recognize that they take a portion of people's time to do this even if it's just putting this together mm -hmm. right so um does that make sense yes um our budget number shows salaries is that something we need to correct because we made that adjustment under february budget salaries so that is, that is something that i would make a recommendation to do is that we do budget modification so that we would we would take those lines away and really bring them into the management fee expense line okay yeah but that would that would be a recommendation to do that, and you'd have to do board approval for that.
Is that something we would like to try to do today, or we need to kind of prepare for the next meeting? What do you think, Kelly? I don't see any reason why you can't do that today. Okay. I mean, you don't need a resolution or anything, do you, Shannon? No, no, no. It's just, uh, it needs to be documented that you're just going to do a budget, budget modification, really. Okay. Thank you. Because technically you had to prove the budget the way that it's laid out, but to be more transparent and realistic with the OCFC expenses, you're now adding this particular line item and not having the detail behind certain other items. So it's really just changing the classification. That's why it's called a budget modification. So they just have to vote on it. Right? And then when you go to do the, the budgets for the next year, you would then set it up the same way that we're presenting it now. Okay. Do you want to do that now? Do it in, in the board meeting or in the oh, committee? Don't you have to do it in the committee meeting and then you have to bring it to the board meeting or you just have to take it to the board meeting? You can make the recommendation here to bring it to the board. Okay. Yeah, I think you should do that. Yeah, right. cool. oh, I would yeah. think so. Yes. yes. All right, so do we vote on this? Do we have to, or do we just say we're going to do this? It's your preference. I think you will. You have to vote on it, but if you want to I do everything, well. okay. might as well have a motion in a second. And... I would vote on it just to be on the safe side. Yeah, exactly. I'll make that motion. I, I will second the motion to explain the management fees and collapse out the payroll expenses, uh, and then going forward, we just make sure that we have that that sheet in there that shows what makes up the management fee expense. That that uh, yeah. All right, we're good. You may want to restate that motion just so that something Marty can actually type out. <laughs> I think you should just do budget modification and changing classification of different, um, uh, I don't know, different accounts or something, right? Accounts, right. So I, I would just, do a, just say it's a budget modification to change the classification between the different categories. So that's, that's all you're doing. So you're changing the category. That's it. We get a second. Okay. I feel like my my inexperience is is bogging us down. We're not, not at all. We're not bogging us down at all. We're doing great. All right. Let's Does see. that include Let's the modification for January as well? So because the invoices are based off of the prior month's actual. OCSC is going to be a month behind. Okay. In that regard. Got it. So January is kind of a blank. Yeah. As of right now, because, because you didn't implement it. We have to close the year. We have to close them well. So for accrual purposes at the end of 24, we will do an accrual based on the IDA's actual expenses. So you will see that then. But for this year, you won't because I don't. I'm, I'm not going to change the process. We're, we're changing it now, so for me to kind of go back, it wouldn't make sense. Okay. And technically, the way we, we have to work this is, you know, on in, on theory, March 31st, a bill would be created saying these are what's due to the to the IDA, and then the F, you know, so so it'll always be a month behind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. makes sense. Okay. You good? Did they all? Yes. Do we vote? Aye. Yeah, I'm not sure they did. Yes. Aye. Okay, terrific. And then we'll need a motion to uh, recommend to the full board uh, this the profit loss statement for uh, approval. I'll make that motion to approve. I will second profit it. Loss. I will second it. Great. Can we get a vote? Aye. Aye. Terrific. Okay. That passes. Uh, on to payables. Did you need to work out on this piece here? Any further discussion on it? But it is, we alluded to it, but it's longer for IDA, obviously. Uh, now, I'm sorry, before payables, uh, on, uh, on to page seven, please, Shannon, for cash. Sure. 
So you'll see your CDs there. You have uh, TD Bank for 547, your JP Morgan T bill of 599, and your Lakeland for 600,000. And then you have uh, 161,000 in your checking account. So for a total of $1.9 million. Very good, thank you. And then the next page is the OCFC loan. Really no significant change. You have one loan that's making monthly payments, so that's it. So your balance as of uh, February is 53,588. Great. All right, we, we do need to go back to uh, page seven. Okay. Because this, the CD is coming due at the end of March. So we probably want to have an understanding as to what we're doing. I know it wasn't originally, but I just noticed that this yeah. is coming due. Mm -hmm. So. And I gave you uh, each a printout of the different rates. The rates that Kelly collected? Yes. Yeah, that right. Okay. So here's, here's my thought process. We've got what we should probably do with this TD Bank is we should do a, uh, a six month and uh, if, if we can put it in the JP Morgan Treasury. Because what that'll do is then that'll bring us to the end of September, right? Because we have we have a one year that's coming due next January. We have a six month that's coming due in June. So what we should do then is so in three months from now that that. 600,000 or 599 76 comes due. So what we should do then is take this one, make it a six month, so this then will come due in September. So we'll have them coming in June, September, January. And that way we're on the three month cycle rotating forward. We have that, that laddering going now, that's great. Right, makes sense to everybody? Yeah. And you're looking at the highest rate for that time frame. Well, you know, I am, but I'm also also thinking, you know, we've got Lakeland, right? So the, the next highest rate is Lakeland, mm -hmm. but to diversify, that's why I was thinking the, the JP Morgan. Yep. So yes, it happens to be the higher rate, um, but I also like the fact that, again, we're, we're well, I guess, you know, the other T-bills coming due anyway, so, mm -hmm. but um, I guess with all... I mean, it is a treasury bill, right? It's a T bill. Yeah, that JP is. Morgan, it is. I mean, right, so I mean, that's a it's safer than a than even a bank. So I'd rather go with that. That would be my mm -hmm. suggestion. If you had, I'll make that motion. Great. All right. So makes sense. You all put. So we're going to move that when that comes due three twenty six to TD Bank. We move that into a six month. The principal, of course, right? The original. Corpus, or however you'd say that, meaning not the interest necessarily, or um, well, the I, number. I, well, you know, I think I would take the interest and and you know, kind of round it up. I okay. mean, you know, if you could round this up to an even five fifty, you know, I, I mean, I think we're still good with our checking account, right? I mean, we, we have same market, you yeah. know, so I, I wouldn't say let's take money out, but you know, I'd like to to kind of keep the the money rolling, so. Um, if we, again, I'm not quite sure what the interest would be on that. Give me two seconds. Unless Kelly knows because yeah. Kelly's smart. Uh, 547. I mean, you're looking at eh, roughly seven seven thousand two hundred dollars <throat> that should be coming due. So, I mean, you know, you could take that and and round this up pretty darn close to you know to 
uh, you know, 550, almost 555,000. So, you know, if you can do that, that'd be great. So anywhere between 550 to 555? Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, look, if you needed to take one or two thousand dollars out of the, the checking account, I don't know if that would really break you, right? I mean, I think you still have a very good pad here based on our expenses every month and such. And, and the fact that we have, you know, s over 600,000 coming due in June. So really that checking only has to make sure we, we have three months, which I think is more than prudent. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. In six months, right? At the 5.2%? Yes. Yeah, six month JP Morgan Treasury uh, looks like 5.2%. That's as of right now, but we have to wait for this to come due, so yeah. it could change. Yeah. True. So. Right. Yes, a little changes every day. Understood. Exactly. exactly. Okay, so uh, I don't know if Jeff needs to restate the motion with the specifics there, but. I'm happy to do so to sure. go to JP Morgan T bill for six months and adjust the um, total amount to include a portion or most all of the interest. Great. Terrific. Okay. We have a motion. Uh, I second. Second. <laughs> all new. Aye. Aye. Okay. Terrific. Motion passes. Great. Okay. Thank you. Let's so squeeze, squeeze that one in. Uh, now we will. Motion to adjourn. Uh, or do we, we got more? Yeah, we still, I don't think we did the payables, did we? Did we, we approve them? Did we approve them? Okay. I don't think no. we wrote it. I didn't know if we needed to. We did the pay, you looked at the page. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. So, <clears throat> these are, I'm still not used to that format. It's a little more of us. Yeah. <laughs> Skate hosting is our legal You waved at us. And yeah. is our uh, CFO for hire bookkeeper. Okay. Are these, uh, these aren't monthly charges, are they? Yes. Yeah? But, I mean, well, it's not well, even monthly. Not, yes. not the exact amount. Well, for uh, RBT, it's the same amount every month. That's right. the that's the broken out amount. Yeah. And, um, BH has, it depends upon how much work they do for OCFC. And both of those firms, of course, bill separately. <clears throat> uh, it's not the percentage. Yeah. They right. bill whatever it is exactly. Yeah. However many hours mm -hmm. appropriated to each. Okay. So we'll need a motion, a second, and a vote to? Motion to, to pay the bills, to approve the bill. Yeah. I'll second that. Yes, terrific. Okay, great. Second. Sounds like a good idea. Okay. <laughs> I, would, yeah, I agree. <laughs> all right, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Terrific. Okay. And do you need a, approval for the uh, OCRC loans, too? Um, I think we've gone back and forth on that, but I, let's review that. Let's let's get to page eight, the small business resiliency loan report. Shannon, I'll let you report that as well too, please. I think we already did it. did it. Oh, we did do that, exactly. We didn't approve it yet. We didn't approve it, sorry. Right. <laughs> uh, I need a motion to second. You just froze there, sorry. Oh man, it's never happened before. What is that about? I'm not sure I hope it wasn't too critical, but we do need a motion in a second and a vote. Sorry. I'll make that motion. Okay. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Terrific. Motion passes. Um, and just the audit. Last item before adjournment. Yeah. I mean, I hope, are, are we still live even though she's frozen? Okay. Yes. Yeah, uh, that, we just lost Shannon, but we're, we're still. All right. No, you know, I, I, there's really, you know, nothing quote unquote official as far as the audit goes, but I, I do want to express my gratitude and and really kudos to the team. Um, you know, the, the audit came back with absolutely uh, no action required, which is, uh, in my experience, very rare. That means that all of our T's were crossed, all of our I's were dotted, uh, really, uh, I, I, I truly am very, very proud of the efforts that you all did, and thank you. Thank you. Um, and I know that we are, as soon as we are done, Paris, right, which yeah. is the, the reporting, uh, is on track to be done on time, mm -hmm. and uh, which is, again, another 
you know, uh, big lift uh, that's going to get done and, and be in on time where I know a lot of other people uh, are always asking for, you know, extensions and requests and things like that, but, but we are getting it done when it should be done and how it should be done. So truly thank you to you. You, Marty's not here, and I'll thank her in person, but thank you all very much. Much appreciated. Thank you. I think that's it, except for a motion to adjourn. I'll so move. I will second it. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Terrific. Uh, and we are adjourned at 4.23 p.m. All right. We'll be moving on to Orange County IDA Finance Committee. <clears throat> Can we get Shannon back? Yeah, the question she's gone, huh? Might be kind of convenient to have her. I'd say for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is her signal bad? Can you tell? Yeah, she was skipping here and there. Yeah. Interesting. We still live. Hi, Shannon. Are you able to jump back on for Ivy? Okay. Uh, terrific. Okay, we'll see you in a minute. Thank you. Oh, her internet went down, so she's just jumping on her hotspot. Okay. Boy, all the things we did while you weren't around. <laughs> all right. Hopefully it was all, all good accomplishments. Yes. All right. Uh, all right. So I'm presuming that we're ready, we're ready for me. Oh, uh, we're just about to open the meeting. So we didn't want to open the meeting without you for oh, RCID. Okay. All right. One moment. All right. So everyone, welcome to the uh, March Finance Committee meeting for the Orange County IDA. Uh, let's call this meeting to order. Uh, time is... Uh, 4 26 p.m. on Wednesday. Bill, if you will do the roll call, please. Sure. Mark Green. Present. Jeff Christ. Here. All right. Two of three committee members present. Uh, present. Dean Tamburi is, is uh, excused absence. For staff, myself, Bill Fioravanti, Kelly Riley, Jose Rojas on AV, and Chan Minisi with RBTCPAs. RBTCPAs. So. All right. Uh, proof of notice. Uh, this meeting was duly and properly provided. And so uh, let's let's move forward. Terrific. Let's uh, approve uh, the minutes from uh, the twenty uh, February twenty first meeting. Uh, can I get a motion, sir? I'll so move the minutes. To you and me. I will second that. Terrific. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Terrific. That carries. On to new business. New business. Uh, Shannon, rock and roll. Jump right to page five. Okay. So for, yep, for, on page five, um, normal subtenant rent, and then you'll see on the IDA side we have management fee income, so that's going to equate to the same amount of expense on the OCFC side. So that's a new line item. And then there was $59,743.76 of interest earnings for a total of $67,606.71 of income. Um, most of your expenses are, are standard. The spectrum pension and compensation is what's in that professional fees, and that's you know for the benefit plan. Um, and then you'll see for for February that uh, marketing and PR is up, and that's capacity marketing, uh, palm oil, broadcasting, 
and then um, a little more for acquisition marketing as well. And then for membership events and memberships and events, um, that's New York State EEC. We skip down, you'll have general counsel and the, the litigation is part of that $6,202, your normal standard uh, payroll, and then your, your standard building expenses, nothing out of the ordinary there. So the total expenses for the month were $64,622.93. So actually for the month of February, there's a profit of $2,983.78. Profit's good. Uh, question for you, uh, Bill, I think. Why the uh, the jump in the marketing and PR? Just timing with uh, a few of our vendors coming at once. Um, we're finishing up with capacity marketing and we're making our last payment to them uh, for their work with branding and, and uh, PR. Um, the acquisitions were ramping up, doing a lot of social media work with us, going to help us with our podcast. Uh, and then the uh, panel are uh, the radio as well. So we're going to we're gonna make some changes there in the next couple of months, but it's just a confluence of all three of those, so it's up. Okay. Some of these vendors, unfortunately, have not been great about timely invoices, so we're getting more, I feel like all of them, where we're doing, maybe not uh, acquisitions, but the others where we end up getting a few bills at a time because we haven't had them, so. I don't love it just because of the way it looks to the board, you know, and to the public, it looks like it's, it's mm -hmm. uneven, but it is all normal. Business exactly, it's timing. So, uh, any questions from you, Jeff? No, not me. Uh, I'm, I'm good if, if you want to move on. Terrific. Uh, I will tell you that we can approve all the financial statements. We've done this in the board before in one vote. Yeah, we just didn't have it planned that way. We hadn't done it with you yet, but now that we had one meeting already, we can do that this way. We'll okay. just do one vote to approve it. Uh, to recommend to the board for approval of these financial reports. Okay, so we'll keep moving. Uh, payable, Shannon. Page six. Okay, so normally uh, Kelly or Marty does those. True, we can. We, um, we can. True. Well, do you want to do that? Yeah, sure. Um, th these are all just regular invoices that we pay every month. Yeah, these are all. Quite typical. Um, and you can see that I added the January next to the amount for February. What well, I mean, you do see, you do see a deluxe check. Check. Um, we had to order checks for the IDA and deposit slips, so that's what that amount is for. Other than that, I don't think there's very much uh, different here uh, that, we, yeah. that you see every month. On the local labor, um, number four, two, three, four, mm -hmm. just below the middle of page six, that went down by about half. But the question would be, are those reimbursable or these are ones we still owe? No, these are ones that are reimbursable. So land does our West Warwick one, two, and three. No, they also do OC hospitality and we have escrow accounts for both of them. Okay. But they still go through the books of the... Well, we still pay like land and then we get the money back. Uh, from the escrow? Pay. Yes. Okay, thank you. But you don't see it on your financials in the front, that pass-through number anymore. Okay. A um, couple of questions. Why is the, is the uh, expense down? for the fourth line down for the uh, retirement plan? Was that, was that a year end? Was that the uh, setup for the year? The 369 rather than the 1650? Yeah. The 1650 had... That was, I'm thinking that 1650 was for four weeks of three, it, because it's 369.84 a week. So I don't know why it's only pulled one week in here. I'm yeah, going to have to go back than... and re-look at that. Okay. All right. Um, and the uh, increase legal, we'll talk about? It's just timing. Again, okay. that's they, they bill per hour, so it's it fluctuates. Okay. Uh, that was... Marketing, 
everything else seems seems month over month. Yeah. All right. All right. Any questions from you, Jeff? On this? No. Okay. Thank All you. Right. So we move forward. Uh, of course, set. if I could just add that as part of our new format here, we have uh, essentially a QuickBooks report. We did it very manually before. Now all the bills are being entered into QuickBooks, so the report is here. And then we agreed that we would include the credit card statements as well, as is the one piece that you don't see. So those are in there. So we're seeing that going forward now. And then going forward, we'll include the voucher if you want us to include the voucher in this package yeah. also yeah. for the management. Yeah. yeah. So the credit card itself is is this twenty one ninety eight. There's two credit cards, yeah. so that's the first one. And and this is the backup for that. Yeah. Utilities, Amazon, all of that. Exactly. All right. And then, Elon. Yes, that's the second credit card. Okay. And this is the backup there. Correct. All right. And I think we should have Shannon talk to the cash and equivalents on page yep. 11, and then we can let her go. Sure. Um, so as I'm sure Mark is going to point out, you have two CDs that are maturing. <laughs> one that actually matured uh, as of this point, and then one that's maturing at the end of the month. Um, you have another $5 million in Lakeland, and $400,000 in Connect One that matures in May. So that's seven million four hundred thousand in the CDs, eighty nine thousand in your trust escrows, which is not technically the IDA's money, and then uh, one million nine hundred ninety eight thousand seven hundred and one dollars in the checking account. So that's timing of moving money over as well. Great. Any questions about? So the um, outcome from the CD at Lakeland that was. Mature on March 6th is now in that figure? No. I misunderstood. Um, we, sure. we opened up the CD in March, or it was a T bill we opened up in March for $2.5 million at um, six months. So we took the 1.9 million. We're nine reporting eight. February balances, though. So oh, right. Got it. Three, so. <coughs> Thank you. <coughs> All right. Do you, do you have any other questions, Jeff? Before I start asking. Them? No. Okay. So we've got. Should we let Shannon go? Any questions for her, or we're just going to talk CDs? We're just going to talk CDs, Shannon. It's up to you. We'll let you go, Shannon. Uh, it's up to you, guys. Anything else you can imagine they would ask her for? I, I don't think we would either, frankly. So let her go back to her family if we could. Well, it's uh, it's. Okay. Audience season, she's working, I'm sure. So, so go go pick on someone else, Shannon. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Shannon. Okay. We appreciate it. Bye. Bye. Good night. Goodbye. Goodbye. Um, Goodbye. So we've we have since converted this Lakeland. Is that correct? Yes. So we've taken that Lakeland to one million, and then we took one point five million out of the checking account to make a T bill for two point five million for six months. All right, so that should come due roughly in September? That will come due September 5th, 2024. And that was 5.17% we got it for. Beautiful. All right, so that one. All right, so, I, so we can cross that Lakeland off. Yeah. Right, in theory, because that doesn't exist anymore. Correct. So now we have... One that will be coming due next week, if I'm correct, is TD Bank yes, the for one million. Mm -hmm. Okay. So my recommendation would be this: we put that in a three month with J.P. Morgan at five point two two, if we can get it. Because then what that will do is we will be able to then pair that up with this Connect 1 that comes due in May. The one that comes due in May will basically just sit in the bank account for, for a couple of weeks until the, the TD Bank slash new JP Morgan comes due in June. 
and then we can pair those up and then we will be on a rotating basis. So we have one, we have the 2.5 that comes due in, in September. We have 5 million that comes due in January. When, when we marry these up in June, we'll put those in three months. The Connect mm, One and maybe, this yeah. T bill. Yeah, the the Connect One and the and the, the new T bill that you guys come up with will connect, and then we'll we'll make a decision there what we do because three months would bring it in September, which we already have. Six months would bring it, so maybe we we put it longer term. Yeah, but but regardless, this is what we do right now. We take this T and we convert it into the three month T bill for that. If you can get it at three point two two percent, or sorry, five point two two percent. Okay, so you want just the one million? Do you want, or do you want the plus interest? Um. In the T bill. I mean. I mean, I like compounding interest, right? It means we make more money. Uh, your best guess. Are you saying we took 1.5 out of checking? So you're saying we have roughly 500,000 in our checking, mm -hmm. give or take? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think 503 because I looked at it today. Who's coming? <laughs> All right. So we, we have roughly 500,000 in our checking. Um. I mean, you know, what we're talking about, what did I say this? <clears throat> 53, what's that thing? 53, 500 divided by four. So you look at roughly $78,000. I, I mean, it's fine. You can keep it around number and just put the rest in checking. So you want one million? Yeah. And the T balance? That's fine. And then we can we can reassess for June when we marry when we marry them up and make a decision you know because we marry them up in June that'd be one point four maybe we we take you know that hundred thousand out of there out of checking and make it one point five million yeah so but yeah okay. let's just do the one million and we'll put the interest in the checking account okay make sense sure. Can we get a motion and include the, the institution? And I'm not good at motions. I talk okay. too much. You make the motion. And does this motion include all of the financial business that I don't think we approved yet? Or do you want to do that separate from the CD? Uh, I'd like to do the CD separate. Okay. Yeah. So to get the CD out of the way, I'd make a motion <coughs> to do a three-month T-bill in the um, J.P. Morgan. Um, if we can get it at 5.22%, and that would become due then in June. Yes. Can I okay. just ask you a question, though? Since the interest rates fluctuate, oh. I, we can't guarantee it's going to yeah. be 5.22%. Good point. As close to yeah. it. Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's better. If you see something where a different one looks better at that point by a significant amount. We, I, I would even keep flexibility in the motion to go where the interest rate is most um, advantageous. They don't seem to be fluctuating that much yeah. week to week. Okay. That one may be better than the other. They yeah. just kind of are staying in their they same lane. They all look so. fairly close here, so it yeah, probably will still be the J.P. Morgan yeah. treasury if I, rate. If I can counter real quick, Jeff, I, I would only suggest even if let's let's say the the treasury rate is less than the Lakeland Bank by a few little basis points, I would still do the the treasury okay. Okay. simply because we have a substantial amount of Lakeland already. Diversification. Yeah. And so okay. Good like point. To, you know. So. So let's stick with so, J P Morgan. Yeah, J P Morgan at JP. at the prevailing rate. Yeah. Great. That's yeah. my motion. All right, we have a motion. Second. Second. My mark. All in favor? Aye. Carried that. Um, 
and we covered all the reports. So why don't we move to to uh, recommend to the board full board approval of these financials for OCID? Uh, so I will. I will make a so motion to send these to the board uh, approved. Terrific. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Terrific. All right. Great. Now we just need it. Unless there's anything else, then motion to adjourn. Anything with the audit? Well, yeah. Thank I, you. Again, I would just that again. Would I know everyone. It's, it's but I do truly want to applaud you all uh, for the audit. Again, came back with absolutely no uh, uh, markups on it, which again is incredibly impressive. That that uh, the auditor came back uh, and gave us a full and complete thumbs up. Again, kudos to you, your team, you all, and uh, and we're on track to to have our parish reporting done on time. And, and complete, which is again uh, tremendous and uh, very exciting. So, um, again, kudos to everybody. Thanks very much. Yes, thank you. And a motion to adjourn. I'll make the motion. I second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned. <laughs>